I just want to start off with this right here, the pollen count. This is something that's going to be a cause for concern for the next couple of days as wind speeds remain breezy to windy. Today we saw wind gusts near 30, 35 miles an hour. It'll be similar tomorrow and then especially Tuesday behind the cold front. You can see molds are heavy. 1920 on tonight's pollen count in San Antonio. Speaking of there's downtown looks great. Temperature wise we're at 77 feels like 79. We have a heat index at night. That's how humid it is across South Texas and around the city. Today's highs 87 at the airport 89 at Floresville. It didn't really feel like November today. Keep in mind this 87 should be right around 76. That's the typical average high in early November for the city based on records that date back to the 1880s. We had lower 80s in the hill country, 177 degree reading at Rock Springs, where by the way, that's where a lot of the rain fell earlier today from Del Rio to Rock Springs, northern parts of Real and Edwards County. Here are temperatures right now. Lots of 77s on the map, 80 at Pearsall, 79 at Del Rio, and there are those wind speeds. Now it's not consistently windy, but every now and again, the occasional wind gusts will be up to 30 miles an hour, especially across the hill country. Fredericksburg, a wind gust of 29 miles an hour, 27 at Floresville and similar at Pleasanton. Tomorrow's forecast high near 88 degrees. Upper left hand corner shows you the sunrise and sunset. The difference daylight saving time ending. That's the result. Sunrise at 650 AM sunset at uh, 545 PM. So days are going to feel a lot shorter from here on out. Here's radar very active across Oklahoma, parts of North Texas. That same weather system will drop in from the north and give us rain tomorrow night. Here are some of the rain estimates from earlier today from Del Rio to Rock Springs, some localized pockets up to two inches of rain. There's the cold front behind it, 49, uh, 45 in Albuquerque and similar numbers and temperatures across northwestern New Mexico. Here's the timing pushing through San Antonio tomorrow night late after 11 p.m., maybe towards the midnight hour. And then with that igniting and erupting some thunderstorms along the boundary. So let's walk you through hour by hour temperatures in the upper to lower 70s tonight, mostly cloudy skies, some morning drizzle, morning light rain possible tomorrow. So that'll impact your morning commute towards the afternoon. It's dry, maybe an isolated shower, but by tomorrow night, that's when it gets a little active and you can see a couple of thunderstorms will get strong and severe, maybe producing isolated hail and straight line winds on the range of maybe 30 to 50 miles an hour. That's not going to be every thunderstorm that ignites along that front, but it is certainly possible with the environment we have. Look at the amount of rain we're expecting in some localized pockets, one to two and some more up to three and four up by 35. All right, 14 day forecast, 87 Monday, 75 Tuesday for election day. So the sky is clear. The weather improves vastly. It feels like November for a couple days for Tuesday and Wednesday warms up by Thursday and Friday. High near 82 Thursday with a 40% chance of some rain. And then more 70s on the way by that next week. Hopefully this um, this pattern is more favorable and conducive to more cold fronts right now. Tuesday and Wednesday look beautiful with highs in the middle to upper 70s.